Welcome to App Design Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to design this in Adobe XD using just a few simple rectangles and circles. All right, let's get started with our camera. So the first thing we can do is draw a simple rectangle, something like this. And I want to draw another rectangle down here for the eyepiece. And now I can just bring these guys in, just manipulate that rectangle that easy, and combine these two shapes here. And even though I combine them, I can double click inside, and I might want to change the radius here to eight pixels around on this camera so I can change that after the fact, which is really nice. And now I want to create the lens. So I'm just going to throw down a circle and make sure that that's centered. And we already have the starting of our icon. Now I want to start to throw down some colors. So I want to start off with a gray color, just make it a tiny bit bluish purple, something about like that I think I'm going to like. And we can start off there and we can change it later. So now, with this eyepiece, we can remove the border here. I'm going to start off with a similar color there, but I think I want a radial gradient here. And I want to start this off right here, where it's a little bit lighter. So I can start off using the same color, and I'm just going to brighten that up a tiny bit. And then at the end here, I'm going to use this same color, but make it a tiny bit darker. So we'll do something kind of like that. I think I like that. And then we can copy and paste and reuse this circle, bring it in a little bit, and now I'm going to copy those properties and apply them here, and we've got our nice lens ring. This ring here I want to apply a shadow to, just a small shadow. Two pixels, maybe one pixel to one pixel down and one pixel to the right. Real quick, if you're interested in learning more about icon design, I have a complete course that goes from creating design briefs to sketching icons and then creating a complete icon set in Adobe XD. Now I know I'm covering this icon design really fast just to show you how powerful Adobe XD is, but in this course I'm going to take you through step by step each one of these features and show you what they do. And by the end of the course you'll have some built up confidence to be able to sketch your own designs and create your own icon set in Adobe XD. Now I'm giving a steep discount to my YouTube fans, so just click on the link in the description below and you'll get this course for only $10. If I use this radial gradient that I used before, I paste it here, I might be able to change this around and just get a little bit of a different effect here. That might look cool. So let me darken this a little bit. And I think I kind of like that. Now again we can copy and paste this circle, bring it down. About there, I want to remove the shadow, and let's make this just black. Totally solid color black. And we can add a little bit of transparency there. I want to make it just a little bit bigger, something like that. And now I want to copy this one and paste, and make that just a little bit smaller here. And I'm going to remove this grid for a little bit, just hide it so it doesn't interrupt me. Okay, so that's a nice starting there. Then copy and paste this one down about right here. And now we're ready to copy and paste this circle again. And I'm going to make this white just so you can see it a little bit more clearly for right now. And if I copy and paste, again, we're using a lot of circles here. It's going to look really nice when we're done. And I'm going to subtract that top layer from the bottom one. and. And now this little ring I created, I'm going to copy and paste that and bring that, just resize that down just a little bit more. And with this guy here, I'm going to change this to be a radial gradient. And I want to expand this out, something like this. We can turn it around. It's going to look something like that, I think. And right here, I want to give this kind of an orangish color, something like that. And over here, I want this to be a little bit more of the purple or the blue, something like that. Let's do red. So we're just playing around with some colors here, just seeing what we like. We're going to brighten that up a little bit and just play around with the look here. We might just start off over here. I think I like that, something like that. 
And now the nice thing is I can copy and paste this shape. I can rotate this around over here. And if I jump back into my radial gradient, I can turn the opacity down here and bring that other color back in from the other layer. So that's looking really good. I'm going to copy and paste some of those settings here. Bring that around like right here. Something kind of like that. And I'm going to select this shape right here. Copy and paste that. Bring that in and send that to the back a little bit. And I might want that to be a little bit darker. So we're starting to have some nice shapes that make up our lens. And you can always play around with the fills. So here, if I wanted to create a little bit lighter in the center, I can do that here. And then something like this. It just gives it a little bit of a reflection of a glimmer. And this is all looking really good. Now I just have to create the glass. The glass piece is gonna belong inside of here. And so the best way to do that is we're going to create an ellipse, something about right here. I'm not getting things perfect. Like I said, we're just having fun. I'm not getting too technical. And I can come over here and go into my radial gradients. And right here, I'm gonna make this white. And then I want everything else to be sort of red, sort of this red color. So we'll do that. We're gonna expand this out just a little bit. And I think I like that. We're going to turn that down just a little bit and you can start to see how that looks like a reflection but it needs a little bit of a blur, something like this. And if I copy that and paste it, I can come down here, oops. And right here, I'll make this a little bit smaller, something like that. And I can even double click inside of here and just change some of these shapes so it's not a complete ellipse. We're just gonna give it its own personality. And we can make the ends of this maybe just maybe more orange, something like that. And we can even turn down the opacity here. Now if we zoom out, we can see it's starting to look really nice. Now that we have that, we can always copy and paste and that will double up the opacity, give it a little bit more of a glimmer. And there's one thing I forgot to do over here. I wanna create a flash. So I'm gonna just create this circle right here. And I'll just borrow this circle, bring this down here. And before I resize it all the way, I'm just going to make this all the way white. I'll make this just a subtle gray, just something like that. And if we resize this down now, we can put that inside of there, give it a little bit of some transparency there. And I wanna add some sparkle and some glimmer here. So the way I can do that is I can copy this circle and paste it. I'm gonna copy and paste it once more. I'm gonna move this up one, maybe, maybe just one pixel up. And I'm going to select these two shapes that I copied. If I zoom in here, I can subtract one from the other and I can actually make this, I'm gonna make it somewhat blue like this. And I think that's even looking really good, but I'm gonna create an object blur here. Give it maybe one pixel, something like that, and then turn down the opacity. And now it just gives that just a tiny bit of blue tint glimmer. And maybe up here I wanna do the same thing. So I can just copy and paste this and rotate this, bring it up here. And I want this, instead of blue, I'm just gonna make it solid white something like that. And let's play around with the blur. I actually think I might like this without a blur even. So something like that. So you can start to see we're getting some real depth, um, a somorphic 3D look there. I think it's looking really nice. And I might just play around with grabbing these two and rotating them just a little bit. So if the light comes this way, I think I like that. The light's gonna cast from the top left. Now to give this camera a more 3D embossed look, I'm going to copy and paste and paste once more. And then I'm gonna move this down one, two, three, four. So two pixels to the right and two pixels down. I'm gonna subtract one from another and I'll make this white. 
and I'm gonna just make this a little bit transparent. Add some object blur here. Ooh, something kind of like this. And again, if I wanted to get more technical, I could, but we're just having a lot of fun here. And I might double that up here, make that look better. So now that we've done this, I see that this lens is actually a little bit small for this body. So I can select all of these dozens of shapes here. I'm gonna group them. And if I hold down Shift and Option, I can resize this. And I think something like that actually looks far better. And the last thing we wanna do now is add an icon background. So I'm going to just create a square. I'm gonna give this just a light gray, something about right there. And I'm going to make this radius. We'll start off with 30 pixels, bring this to the back. And that looks okay. Now I'm going to shift this up somewhere like that. Copy and paste and bring this down and bring it to the back. And just so I can see, I'm gonna make this black for a little bit or about right there. I think that looks good. And once we do that, we wanna select just our camera, make sure it's centered within this area, somewhere around there. I'm gonna make it just a bit smaller, something right there I think looks good. And we're almost done here, but I can actually add a little bit of a 3D shaded look here by going into my fill and creating a linear gradient that goes here from the left to the right. And if I just click somewhere right here and somewhere right here, I can make these two colors, just CCC and CCC. And then this color here can be just a little bit darker. And this color here can be white. We're gonna create a little shadow here. And I actually wanna create a shadow right there, just kind of make that pop off this icon background a little bit. And then I'm going to create a square, turn it 45 degrees, and this will be our camera shadow that's being cast diagonally. So we're gonna start off there, we're gonna bring it back, a bunch of layers, and from here, we can just get into here, bring this about right here, bring this, right here just so it's casting right from the edge and as soon as we do that we can grab this and just make sure that it extends a little bit beyond this background right here and when we do that we can copy and paste this shape select this shape and combine these two just to create this shape we'll make this black a little bit of transparency here and now we have a nice shadow now you can see that there's a harsh edge here. If we want that to kind of contour off the page, we can also add a blur here. So object blur, we're just gonna do, let's give it a one pixel. So now you can see it's kind of softly falling off here. And we're gonna do the same thing with this shadow. So we're gonna give this a one pixel blur. And now you can see it looks really good, everything falling off the page. And here I've gotta move this up because this looks blurred right here, so this shape has to be the same as this one, just so you still have that solid look around the edges, but you can still see it's kind of curving off these corners here. And that's how you create a complex icon with just a few simple shapes in Adobe XD. Now, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon.